Hello, this video is going to show you a demo of GridView, a Python software tool that allows you to batch verify, correct, or edit individual bounding boxes for machine learning applications. To install GridView, there are instructions and code available on Ambari's Bitbucket at bitbucket.org slash Ambari slash GridView. It will also be linked in the description below. To open GridView, you'll want to open a terminal in the repository directory and run python space gridview.py. You'll then be prompted to sign in with your vars username and then confirm by selecting OK. Once logged in, the main interface should appear. Now we can search for bounding boxes. Select Query on the top left corner and you'll be able to search for bounding boxes of interest that exist within Ambari's Video Annotation and Reference System Database or VARS for short. You can customize search filters by clicking on Add Constraint. Once you click on the concept filter, more options will become available. Some commonly used filters I will briefly mention include Concept, which gives you an exact match of your search and can be a biological object or geologic feature. Concept and Descendants, which includes descendants in the taxonomic tree from Ambari's knowledge base, an example is if you search for something in a genus level, the search will also give you all of the species. Next is Observer. This can be a specific person who created bounding boxes, or even a machine learning model. And lastly, you can search by image to moment UUID. UUID stands for Universally Unique Identifiers, and this is a unique label that helps with tracking a specific image or instance. For this demo, I want to search bounding box outputs of a machine learning object detector and classifier that were trained from still images of benthic data from VARS. As you type in your concept, you'll also notice that when you type something, it will automatically populate the name. You can click enter for it to be selected. This feature was designed to prevent spelling errors. For Observer, we want all of the bounding boxes labeled by our machine learning model. Once the images have loaded, individual bounding boxes will appear on your left pane. We also refer to these as regions of interest or ROIs. You can customize the display settings by going down to the info panel at the bottom of the page. Here, you'll have the ability to change the style of grid view, change the zoom settings of the ROIs, and you can also sort your images by image reference UUID, bounding box dimensions, and color intensity or hue of images. When you click on an ROI, the image in which this bounding box appears will be displayed in the right pane. The selected one will appear in blue. Within the image, you'll be able to zoom and pan around, as well as resize or move bounding boxes. You can also edit other bounding boxes within the image without having to select them on your left pane. You'll also see another info panel specific to this image that will show you additional details. Annotations made to this image will be shown on the top, bounding box JSON data on the left, and imaged moment ancillary data on the right. To bulk verify, you can select multiple ROIs. The selected ROIs will be highlighted in green. If you leave the class label fields blank, it will verify as is. Once you click Label, it will ask you to confirm this action by letting you know how many images you've selected. Once verified, ROIs will then be highlighted in yellow. You can rename the labels by typing in a new concept in the class label box. You'll also have the ability to label specific morphological parts of organisms, but it's important to make sure you go back and select Self in the Parts section to go back to regular settings. Similar to the verifying process, to bulk delete bounding boxes, make your selections and click Delete. It will also ask you to confirm this action. If you're working with large image sets, you can select the Hide Labeled checkbox to show only remaining ROIs. This setting will be saved each time you open this image set. The last feature I'd like to highlight is the Open Video capability. This tool opens a video in your web browser on the currently selected ROI. Here, you'll be able to open a video that corresponds to that imaged moment. 
This can be used as a tool to aid in verifications of marine organisms.